A doctor and a hospital in Ohio are in serious legal trouble. Several wrongful death lawsuits have been filed against Mount Carmel Health System and Dr. William Hussell. One Mount Carmel patient, 75-year-old Rebecca Walls, was among three people who died there in November. Bennett Haberl spoke to the attorney for her estate and has this report. So in your view, they accelerated her death? Oh, absolutely. Attorney Michael Rourke represents the estate of 75-year-old Rebecca Walls. Walls is one of three patients who died after October 25th, when the hospital says it first learned of an allegation against Dr. William Husel, and November 21st, when it removed him from patient care. The idea that, uh, you know, in ours, there were three more deaths after that investigation started, one before ours, then ours, and then one the day after. Uh, and it's, it, that's kind of really mind-boggling. The latest wrongful death lawsuit alleges that Dr. William Husel ordered excessive doses of pain medication and that failures within Mount Carmel's internal structures allowed it to continue for years. But they're not the only ones named. Several of the lawsuits lay blame at the feet of nurses and pharmacists for administering and approving the drugs. Ten Investigates has spoken to some Mount Carmel employees who asked not to be identified. They say the problem is much more complex than that, that there were occasions when Dr. Husel's orders were challenged, but that the larger problem is systemic and has to do with the lack of policies inside the hospital. I just don't buy it. I mean, I, 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 I acknowledge that it's a tough situation whenever you have to question somebody who has supervisory capacity over you and maybe even could uh, give you a bad recommendation that could affect your job. That's always difficult. But when you're dealing with somebody's life, uh, that's their job, and their job is to question. We take responsibility for the fact that the processes in place were not sufficient to prevent these actions from happening. The hospital has since changed some policies, now requiring that doctors and nurses get pharmacy approval before administering drugs when ventilators are being removed. Attorneys representing other patients have alleged that Dr. Husel may have bypassed the pharmacy in some cases by declaring an emergency. According to Michael Rourke, that's not what happened to Walls. He says her loved one was pressured by Dr. Husel to take her off life support and that Walls was given 1,000 micrograms of fentanyl and 10 milligrams of Versed. Which is like putting gasoline on a fire. And within five to six minutes after that, she's pronounced dead. I mean, it just they just killed her. No one has been charged with a crime, but there is a challenge coming from people inside this hospital who say what happened here to 34 people wasn't as simple as killing patients. Bennett Haberl reporting there.